Madam Vice Chair, Deputy Secretary General, Ms. Amina Muhammad, Executive Secretary, Ms. Amida Saucia Alice Chabana, President of ECOSOP, Mr. Munir Akram, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates. This year, we meet again at the Virtual Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development. The COVID-19 pandemic has wreaked havoc on people's lives and economies across the world, constituting the greatest global public health emergency in our generation. It has illustrated our collective vulnerability to these so-called black swans. Thailand implemented several measures early on to prevent and protect against ter transmission. The cornerstone of this success has been our universal health coverage and the mobilization of over 1 million village health volunteers who help raise awareness and provide early warning and care for the people in the rural areas. Recently, we have seen a positive development. Vaccination programs being implemented by a number of countries. Vaccination is now most likely the only means to enable us to resume our economic activities. And to this end, vaccine must be treated as global public goods that become accessible to all. We must promote vaccine multilateralism and collaboration in order to achieve global public health security. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, the international community has, become, has come together and we are on our way to fostering our sustainable, inclusive and resilient recovery. I would like to highlight three crucial issues that we must not lose sight of under the new normal. First, prioritizing transformative models will be key. The pandemic has shown us that business as usual will not suffice. Homegrown development approaches have a vital role to play in reviving our economies and societies, as well as our quest to achieve the 2030 Agenda and the SDGs. The sufficiency economy philosophy has, become, has been Thailand's homegrown development approach and guiding pathway towards SDG achievement. In emphasizing moderation, resilience, and the application of technology and innovation in development, it has proven its value over these trying times in empowering people and communities to ensure inclusive and balanced growth for all, an experience that Thailand's willing to share with interested partners. Second, digitalization will become the core of the new normal. It has the capacity to advance human development in all areas, especially in the fields of health and well-being and distance education. Yet, we must ensure that no one is left behind by the digital divide. We must increase access to the internet and digital tools to all, including the most vulnerable. We must also ensure digital literacy for all, especially those farthest behind. And third, there is opportunity in every crisis. We must not allow our eagerness for economic recovery to reverse the remarkable environmental gains during this pandemic. As countries came to a standstill, nature has been revitalized. Thailand aims to promote a bio-circular green or VCG economy model, which supports a green and innovative-based economy that ensures sustainability to a balance between value creation and environmental conservation. Excellency, distinguished delegates, Thailand looks beyond and forward to building on these themes at the United Nations and other international fora including the upcoming BIMSTEX as a chair later this year and during our chairmanship of EPEC in 2022. I thank you very much.